So, I, I'm Martin, for people that don't know me, I'm one of the uh, volunteer coordinators of Social Care Future. Uh, so, hi to everybody. Um, whoa, yeah. Turn it down a bit. <laughs> Turn it down, Martin, they're saying. I'll try. So, welcome everyone. Uh, it's great to see everybody. Um, looking at the names and looking at the faces um, of people that are coming today, we've got a great mixture of people who've been um, part of this movement from the start, and people who've joined us along the way, and people who've just come for the first time today. So that's exactly what we wanted, and that's fantastic. So, Social Care Future, what are we, what are we about? This is what we're about. We all want to live in a place we call home, with the people and things that we love, in communities where we look out for one another, doing the things that matter to us. That's the vision that we've been developing over this past year, talking to lots and lots of people, ourselves and lots of other people. That's our vision. Doesn't sound a lot like social care, does it, actually? Um, because the social care future is not social care, is it? But many of those of us that are involved with or connected to social care in some way can help that happen. Who are we? We're everybody. We're we're citizens, we're people with lived experience, we're professionals, we're managers, we're support providers, we're user-led organisations and politicians and commissioners and community groups and everybody else who wants to make that vision happen. Uh, we're, we're a movement, we're not an organisation, we're voluntarily organised, we do the stuff that we want to do, we come together to do the things that we're, we think are important. Only a social movement can do that, we're, we're building it, it has to be inclusive and co-produced. It has to include everybody. And it has to develop and drive towards a vision that's so different from the social care system that we've got now that feels dragged down by, by its roots in institutions. That's what we've got to change. We've started de developing a, a vision of that and we're going to do some more of that today uh, with everybody's help. We're, we're, we're not waiting for green papers. Uh, we're not simply... <laughs> We're not simply telling other people stuff that they should be doing, although we do want to encourage and help people to do stuff, but we're starting from what we can do, what our friends and allies can do, what our families can do, what our communities can do, what the people that we're linked to and we can influence and help to do. That's where we're starting from. And we're doing three things uh, in the main. One of them is we're, we're developing a vision uh, we started, we're doing some more of that today, our kind of core theme today is to build that further because we've got to have a kind of north star to work for. This is not about making little marginal changes to things, although we might have to take small steps towards the future that we want. But we're, to, we're about big change, not little change, and to make big change you have to have something to really aim at that stretches us and that's what we're developing. And we have to develop that vision and talk about it in a way that people get excited by it, get interested in it, get involved in it. And so that we don't have situations like we have at the moment where um, our politicians are simply telling us that social care is about not having to sell your house or it's simply about personal care. Um, for politicians to change what they're saying, the public have to change what they're thinking and saying. So that's a big thing for us. And so in order to move towards our vision, we've got to have glimpses of that future. And there are glimpses of that future all around the country and all around the world, in fact. And a big part of what we're doing is gathering those and sharing them and bringing people together who want to do something with them, who want to move them on. Some of those things are things that uh, we're developing ourselves and, and you'll be part of a number of those initiatives and actions that are either forming or going forward today. Some of the things that other people are doing that, that fit with our vision and fit with the direction we're trying to travel and we want to link and support and encourage and sometimes lever them. But we also have to challenge, because there is, as one of the sessions uh, says today, a big gap of rhetoric to reality in terms of what policy says things should be like and what people's lived experiences too often like. So we have to challenge in all sorts of ways, the level of the individual person through the place to government and policy. But when we challenge, we have to have solutions. We're not, we're not simply um, uh, challenging and saying, hey, you, you, this is wrong, you should change it. We're saying, hey, you, look, let's see whether we can change this together and this is what we can do. Yep. And sometimes that really is challenging. Um, uh, is Tara here yet? Tara's not here yet. Tara uh, fr from uh, Hammersmith and Fulham later on is moving from 
being thrown out of the council chamber through that kind of challenge to now creating massive strategic co-production in a place. You know? So there's all sorts of types and levels of challenge and, and our movement is involved in all of them. Today we're, we're, um, we're dedicating our, our gathering to Jean Carlin. Many of you here know Jean. Um, and um, Jean was in this room with us in 2018, at the end of 2018, when we started Social Care Future. She was a wise, strong, kind, impactful woman. Um, she helped people and she made change happen. And at the end of the first Social Care Future session, uh, in true Jean style, uh, she wrote to me with a combination of massive encouragement and telling me what we'd not done right and what we needed to improve next time. Uh, and that, that resonates in, in my mind all the time and it will for the future. So can, can we just give some applause to Jean? Great, so let's get started. Trisha. There's some toilets. There's some toilets. Can I have my clicker, please? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So I'm the, the kind of the herder of the cats. My job is simply to get us through today and hopefully have you in the right place at the right time, doing the thing you want to be doing, and then get us away at the end of the day, um, having fulfilled all our achievements and had an amazing day. So no pressure at all. So really, really practical stuff. Um, loser, back out the way you came and just down to the right there. Um, no fire alarms are planned. Um, I do have a bit of a jinx for fire alarms, so there might be one that goes off. If they do, we'll leave in an orderly fashion out the way you came in and um, across, the, across the road. But I'm sure people in high-vis jackets will arrive and help us should that happen. There is Wi-Fi. It's the FMH customer Wi-Fi, and there's a, the passwords welcome one if you need to find it. I'll just leave that up for one second if you want to get onto that. Um, a kind of bit about how we, how we like to, to do our stuff here today, and that's, um, we have a glorious mixture of people here today, and that's the strength of us being together, of our movement. That means that we all have to pay attention to our wonderful capacity of slipping into jargon and using words, you know, 25 words when maybe two would do. So if we could kind of watch out, all of us, and make sure that we're paying attention to everybody feeling included. There's no such thing as a dark question, so if something's not making sense, don't feel like you can't say, hold a second, that's not making sense to me. So kind of a look out for each other. Take care of yourself, take care of each other. We are filming. Um, John's live streaming. Um, I feel like I should know what that really is, and I don't really know what that is, but he's doing it anyway. <laughs> and Gain is around with a camera taking pictures. If you don't want your picture taken, I'm hoping that someone will have asked you on your way in and you'll have a dot on your badge. Is that true? Okay, good. So we'll make sure we won't. And if, 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 anybody, if you feel somebody's pointing a camera at you and you really don't want it, again, don't be afraid to say, please don't take my picture. Okay? Um, you tweeting folks, tweet away. Please tweet away happily using the hashtag social care future. I was thinking about today and, and, and kind of what we wanted out of it. And I use this quote all the time. So um, John O'Brien, the words of a very wise man, when I'm thinking and planning with people, I start with this quote, which is, search for capacities, seek connections, be open to yes. And I thought that felt like quite a good mantra for today. So today isn't a kind of sit back and listen to what some folk have been doing day. It's a, where's my part in this? Where's my clan? And, and some of you will be really strongly part of the clan already, and that's great. And some of you might be kind of here for the first time thinking, OK, I'm not quite sure where my clan is or, or, or what I want to be part of. So be thinking today about, you know, where your capacities are, what you're great at, where you want to connect, where you're already connected, and kind of being open to, to some yeses that you maybe haven't been open to. So I will kind of come back to this at the end of the day where we're thinking about the what next and challenge everybody to be thinking, right, you know, where am I going from today? Where do I think I want to, to connect with some people and be part of this going forward? You should also all have been accosted on the way in and know what small groups you're working in. We're mainly, we've, got a, uh, we've had a couple of main sessions, but we're mainly working in smaller groups today, okay? There, you had cards for this morning sessions and cards for this afternoon sessions. Has everybody done that? No, no because a few people we had made you come in, didn't we? Okay, so, <laughs> well, I'll make sure you've got time to do um, before we start the first session is to actually go and do that. So we'll have a quick sort of four minute break before we go into the first session. 
that's fine. Everybody who's a part of a small group, everybody who's facilitating a small group, will be creating a poster, either sort of during the session or towards the end of the session, but I will be feisty in my handing you to do this, okay? And what we want you to be thinking during the sessions is, what are the big ideas of this session? What are the actions for us, the people who've been in that session? What might we need to do, either individually or collectively? And then what do we need from other people in this room? Okay, so be thinking about that as you're, as you're having your, in your sessions, okay? And I said, I will be hounding facilitators to make sure they get done. So, the plan. We've got morning sessions that will start in about five minutes. And again, you should have your cards. In this main hall, we've got um, Neil and Catherine, who were sat there and now are no longer sat there. <laughs> they don't have to get back there. So, a lot of the, the initial thinking around Social Care Futures started with this idea of how we hear about and talk about social care and, and what that means and the story, the narrative, or what, what people call framing of that. If that's kind of like a new idea for you, come and listen to it in this room and that'll be in this main room. Um, Martin is going to be in G, so the other rooms are out there, okay? They've got labels on the door and we'll, we'll guide you, but the other three breakout rooms are, are out there. Martin Walker, where's Martin? Let's see you. There, there we go, hello, hiya. So Martin will be out there. Martin's going to talk about this idea of the... We've got the Care Act, it's wonderful. Why is it not happening the way that it says in the Care Act in lots of places? Connecting, where's Sarah? Sarah went up there as well, where are you? Yeah. That side, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> You're on there, brilliant. So there's your posse, yeah. brilliant. So you're going to talk about this idea of connecting people, communities connecting people. So, yeah, brilliant. And you're going to be in G4. And then Sean, I saw there she is, um, making communities mainstream. So hi, I'm Clinton, how are you? So how are we going to use, change how um, social care looks like and think about how communities can be leading support. And you're going to be in G1 with Susie. So that's the first session this morning. That takes us all the way up to lunchtime, which will be out there. Now, officially on your programme, it says half an hour for lunch. Don't panic. That just means we'll have half an hour when all we're doing is eating, and then some time for people who want to get together and chat about some important stuff can formally do that. And we'll do that in this room. So we will ask people to keep some of the tables clear of food, if that's all right. So please, when you're eating, do use any of the rooms to eat. But also be aware that we'll, and we'll put some notice. We'll, we'll put some notices on the table. You know, keep these areas free of food because otherwise it gets messy. Is that me? <laughs> the obsession with being not being messy, probably. That's fine. Then after lunch, we will have Kevin and Tara talking about um, this idea of moving from being the people being thrown out of the council to the people actually leading strategic co-production um, in Hammersmith and Fulham. So exciting to listen to. And then we have afternoon sessions. So again, these will be where you've got your cards. And there are four sessions. There are three formal sessions. So if you've, if you've kind of already done the initial understanding and learning about framing, and you kind of want to do the next level, um, and want to do some thinking about taking it forward, then come back into this room with Neil and Catherine after lunch. If you want to think about commissioning for a change, how can we do things differently? Then Martin and Helen... Martin's here, Helen's up there, there we go. Um, and you'll be in G1. If you want with Alex, is Alex here yet? I haven't seen him. Yes, he is, there he is. Um, Alex is here, so building the asset-based area. So again, thinking about how we can stop from thinking about the things that people can't do and thinking about the assets and the things that people bring and the things that communities bring. And you'll be in G3. There is also a networking space. So this might be, by the, by the end of this, this time in the afternoon, you might be thinking... I've got some really good ideas, I want to kind of to, to share those with some other people, or you've already planned to meet some people and, and think about some things you want to talk, talk about and take further. If that's you, there'll be some space in G4. And you've got from 2.15 through, oh no, that didn't work, you've got from 2.15 through till quarter to three. Then we'll come back in here at quarter to three, quarter to four, quarter to four, we'll come back here at quarter to four and just have a sort of half an hour Hearing a bit about what people are doing, I'll be challenging you to think about what you're going to do next, and then we've got a 4.30 finish. Is that all right? That's me walking you through the day. Brilliant. So, let's just, anybody who hasn't chosen a session, let's go and do that, okay? And then, can I, then there'll be people through there to help you find which room you're in. Let's go back to...